Do we have a running back controversy in Washington now? Did yesterday's preseason game put the damper on Antonio Gibson's RB1? Find out today's video, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, join the channel membership, and let's get right into today's video. And all glory to God, man. If I'm God, I will not be rapping to y'all. So, hope you're having a blessed day. Let's run that intro. Welcome back to the Protect Sports Network. It's your boy Protect, and I'm back with another video. I said, man, I just thank God for another day. Hope God's in paving ways and having you guys have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name, pray. And in today's video, we're talking about running back position and specifically RB1 and a warning for Antonio Gibson. Uh, this is not looking good for him. So let's get right into it. No, no, no more, no more delay, no more uh, suspense. Let's get right into it. So. Antonio Gibson, uh, last year in 2021, had six fumbles. He had six fumbles, four were lost. Uh, four of them were in uh, Washington Commanders territory with Washington football team at the time. And they led the points, as you saw in week one versus the Chargers. Uh, he fumbled the ball in the, the five-yard line and led to a Chargers touchdown. Uh, even in the Carolina game, when he fumbled. We lost points, potential points there. We were in the red zone. He fumbled the football. It cost us hugely in the red zone and I get points there. I think Carolina scored that next drive to in order to, to to dampen the wound even worse. To yeah to pile on in that wound of the fumble. So he's cost us games, cost us points with the fumbles last year. He didn't fumble much in the rookie season though, but he did fumble six times last year. And he was benched twice because of his fumbles. We had eventually to come back into the game because we didn't have a legit RB2 to really take the reins of it. So they had to go back in there, which is completely fine. I understood last year. This year, things are different now. Uh, we drafted Brian Robinson in the third round with the 96 pick in the 2022 NFL draft. We draft Brian Robinson Jr. out of Alabama. Kid is 6'1", 230. Big kid. Uh, Definitely a tough runner, but also he's actually pretty agile for his size. He catches the ball well. He does everything at a pretty decent level. Uh, he's an overall complete running back, and he's actually pretty solid almost at every aspect of being a running back going into the National Football League. So when he did get drafted, I was like, oh, okay, cool. He's in the sharing cards for Gibby in case he fumbles, and he has to come in there and produce, but I don't think Antonio Gibson is going to keep fumbling. Wrong. He kept fumbling. He fumbled in camp twice in one day. He fumbled again in camp uh, on another day. He fumbled three times in camp already. In yesterday's preseason game, he fumbles again. Fumbles again on second drive in Washington territory. That's to a five five play, twenty five yard touchdown drive from Sam Darnold for the Carolina Panthers to go up to nothing, and they pro and they don't look back until the fourth quarter when Sam Howe came in and did his Doug these. So, Brian Robinson looked incredibly, incredibly good yesterday. He caught, he caught past 15 yards. He ran the ball six times for 26, had a rushing touchdown, looked very solid, looked spry, looked extremely agile, not super fast, but fast enough. He just looked like a legit NFL running back. But now... Though Antonio Gibson did fumble six times last year, he also had a thousand yards. He also had a 250 yards receiving, including a 73 yard scamper versus the Buffalo Bills. So we know Antonio Gibson can get the job done. We know he's a very productive player. He has one problem, one legit problem. He's another problem too, which is his vision. But it's not the biggest problem in the world. That thing can, that can be fixed with reps. I think this year he would probably get better with his vision. So that's not really a big problem to me at this current juncture. It's the fumbling. The fumbling is a problem. And Brian Robinson's on his boy's neck. I'm telling you now, he got benched yesterday. 
after the fumble, and we did not see him till the twos came out. He played with the twos. And Tony Gibson's a warning to you, bro. If you keep fumbling, you keep fumbling at the alarm rate you're fumbling the football, you're going to lose your starting job. And when your contract runs out, they're going to let you walk. And, and you're never going to get the money that you deserve for your production because you keep fumbling the football. Dependability and ball security are the most important things as an NFL running back. As an NFL running back, you must be dependable. You must be ready to play every week. You cannot be injury prone, which you have been slightly injury prone throughout your career. And also on top of that, you have been fumbling the football. Those are bad combinations when you're looking to get a new deal when your rookie deal runs out. It's not a good look. This is very similar to the Alpha Morris Matt Jones situation. If you remember in Washington uh, in 2015, the Washington Redskins at the time drafted a guy in Matt Jones in the third round with the 67th pick overall in the 2015 NFL draft. They drafted Matt Jones. He looked okay at times in 2015. Had some really good moments, but was never wasn't really consistent. But he did enough to get Alpha Morse out of Washington. And Alpha Morse was a three-time 1,000-yard back for the Redskins at the time. Antonio Gibson, as productive as he's been, has not had that production of Alpha Morse. Alpha Morse was a rookie of the year candidate in 2012. He has 1,600 rushing yards. Antonio Gibson has sniffed 1,800 in two years. He had the same production in a year. As a rusher, understand this. So, but you know, so he's a converted running back too. But still, like, if they can get him out of here after having three one thousand yard seasons, including a sixteen hundred yard season, after his rookie deal, you think that these commanders cannot get rid of Antonio Gibson's insane? He has to fix the fumbling. It has to stop. I and mean, then now the end. I shot to Louis T for this comment. Because he made out on his live stream last night on the command post. He also stated, once the NFL knows you're a fumbler, they're going after the football. So you have to fix this because now you're known as a fumbler. You know as a guy that can put the ball on the ground. If you keep doing it, you're not going to be a starting running back. You're not going to get the money you're looking for. Your contract runs out. And you will be relegated to more like a third down back. And you're not the best guy in pass pro. So you have to fix this. If you really want to be the impactful running back that you wanted to be coming out of Memphis and what we saw in that rookie season and what we saw last year too, outside of fumbles, he had a really good year. Like outside of fumbles, he actually had a really good season. And Tony Gibson was not, ha was not bad at all last year. He had a couple bad games, but he didn't have a bad season by any stretch. He had a really solid NFL season last year did Antonio Gibson. And he showed a ton of potential. He showed better vision at times. He showed that he can run tough, run in between the tackles, and not be phased by it. He didn't look like he didn't look scared of running in between the tackles and anything like that. And also, he showed the explosiveness at times as well. So we know what Antonio Gibson can do, but he has to stop fumbling. It has to stop. If you don't stop fumbling, your career won't last long, bro. It won't. You're gonna be phased out the league so fast so fast the running back career is already short as is and now you're fumbling and you have an injury history it's not looking too good for you Antonio it's not I need you to fix it up Gibby come on bro and I love Antonio Gibson I love we bring to the table I don't like saying this but if you do not fix this he is going to take your job I'm telling you now this kid looks good He's going to take your job. And I want Antonio Gibson to prosper here. I like what the kid brings to the table. He's a he's a he's saying a really solid guy off the field. Really solid young man. Really productive player on the field. Has a ton of attributes you can take onto the field. And he can be productive. I don't want this man losing his job. I don't. I want Antonio Gibson to be running back one. I really want him to be RB1. Because he does some things that Brian Robinson can't do at the level that he does. He just can't. Right now, that is. But he has to fix the fumbling. He has to have better vision. If he can't fix those two things, he cannot be an NFL star running back any longer. And that's after him being top 10 in Russian last year. So, 
<sighs> Gibson, come on, bro. I need you to stop fumbling the football. It has to stop, bro. Like, this is getting very alarming. You fumbled six times last year. You fumbled your first preseason game on the second possession. And it's not like he's in traffic and, you know, these guys are peanut punching the ball out. He's going to the ground, and instead of – like Louis T said yesterday, his strength, instead of holding the ball tight to his body as he gets down, he lets the ball kind of willy-nilly away from his body and doesn't have security up. They can just break that thing out, you know what I'm saying? So he has to hold – my back. come on. Instead of instead of holding the ball like this, where they can break it out, he needs to hold it tightly so he can't punch it out. Like it's a very simple concept. When you're going to the ground, bro, have one arm like literally bracing for impact and have the other like right by your chin like this. So you can't break it out. Like it's not rocket science, bro. I need him to learn that simple concept and he'll be just fine. But it seems like he doesn't learn simple concepts like that. And this is why he keeps fumbling. So that's going to do it for me, man. That is my warning video for Antonio Gibson. I love Gibby, bro. I'm a big Gibby guy. And I don't like the fact that we're screaming Brian Robinson's RB1. But if he keeps fumbling, it's a wrap for him. So uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Uh, join the Protect Sports family if you haven't done so. Also, uh, shout out to Washington on the daily. Shout out to WSH on the daily. My guy Ray and those guys over there watching the daily. I have a giveaway going on for 2,000 subscribers on their uh, Instagram page. So go ahead and check out the Instagram. Uh, follow the instructions on their Instagram. I will have a much more descriptive giveaway video on my channel later on this week. Uh, the giveaway does end on Tuesday, so I will be trying to drop a video tomorrow, giving you guys a much more deep and descriptive uh, giveaway video for you guys. So go ahead and follow on Instagram and follow the instructions that he has on his IG. And guys, appreciate it. You guys be easy. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Have a great one. Put God for this COVID. Do not catch his monkey pox. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.